Bartlett Garage. I just get back out here. Been slow on the content. Gonna try to keep it up and going again. I'm just busy at work a lot. Ain't had a lot of time in the shop. But anyway, we're gonna start by getting these tables. I got my tabletops cleaned off. I got stuff everywhere. I've been working out here a little bit on and off. Not a lot of cleaning time, just working and getting what I can done here and there. So we'll get this mess straightened up and then I'll probably get a little work done on the front of the project aired out, Sonoma. I get some front fenders or at least get them cut down and get started on that process. I don't know if all y'all out there is like me. You get these badass stickers. I don't want to get rid of them, but I don't want to put them on my toolbox. I don't like the way it's all stickers all over them. I don't know what to do with them. Then you get the paper with everything you buy, every tool I got, I get a manual. I feel like I need to keep it. Why? Do I, do I put it in a filing cabinet and keep it, or do I just get rid of it? Struggle is real, folks. It is real. Enough cleaning. It didn't last long. I'm kind of tired of it. Uh, we're going to start on project air it out. I'm going to work on the front fenders today. Grinding, cutting. Making them fit so I'm going to get the black truck out of the way. Get on project aired out. Try to get them front fenders fitting or close to it today. It'll be raw sheet metal. We get them fitted, basically. I'm in a position. On the ground. Let's get this fender pulled off. I already pulled this side off. I pull that side off. I had to give myself some more room.
is kind of where I'm leaving off for today. Front fenders cut down, test fit, pretty close to where they're going to be. And I had a young gentleman come over when I Freddie put this truck. Kind of went out there and tinkered with that for a while. I had the wrong harness, sent him to get another one. Come back with the wrong one again. So anyway, we're going to try again tomorrow. <laughs> try to help out the, the young people as much as I can. Especially if they care about their vehicle, they're trying to fix them up. Kind of give them a, give them a boost. Kind of get the scene, get kids back in it. Anyway, this is kind of where I'm at. Tandem axle trailer fenders cut down, test fitted. Got to still do some trimming here and there. And I'm going to mount some tabs underneath this end on the firewall on both sides. Put me some screws through to them, same way on the front. Use some angle screws to them, hold them up. I screw right here in, the, in this area on both sides. Kind of hold them up, may flatten the inside of these fenders out, smooth them up. I'll definitely get more detail on the next video while I'm doing all this. But I'm gonna go back here and show y'all kind of what I'm thinking about doing on the bed when I go to set it back up and get it done. That's kind of the look. Kind of use the cardboard, kind of give you an idea. You know, that's what I'm thinking about doing on the bed cutting out. Once I cut the bed out, you know, and set it back on. Somewhere, Close to that. It's kind of what I'm going for. Like it. When you look over in the bed, you'll see those hard lines. But the, got most of the wire tucked up and ran both sides. Kind of ran in there. Should have spent a little more time smoothing up some of them welds there had to raise that shock bar but anyway that's kind of what i'm going for on the bed cut out the other side's cut out about where about where that brace right there is for my uh wishbone of course that one there that why that that's going to be gone that's just temporary to move the truck around for the front bags I run these hard lines over go under the cab on both sides I'm going to tie in with the uh, front lines up there underneath the cab. But waiting on two fittings, one for each side to mount my uh, water traps. And I'm going to run a dual line out. This block only feeds with one line, tank line. But I'm gonna make two. That way I can tie it underneath. Make it look makes all this where it looks symmetrical. Even. And that's kind of cardboard template of how I want to cut the bed out. Let me know what y'all think about that. I gotta go over here. Kind of show you the bed. I haven't started on them fenders yet. Oh, there's my water traps. We'll sink them fenders up in there. Hopefully, the next couple weeks I'll be getting all this done. And I'm on that's where I'm gonna cut the bed out right here. Kind of like I was showing you over there on the back of the truck. But that's the update for now. Fenders.